Hello guys, <laughs> I am sitting here and I don't know what I want to do but I want to just sit down and speak, talk to you guys again, I don't know, this is, this is, this video could go anywhere at this point so if you're wanting to stick around and sit with me for a conversation, sit back, grab some popcorn, grab a cup of tea, I don't know, do something that you can sit with and chill out with me. I just kind of wanted to reflect. I don't know. Life, as you guys know from my position, has been a, a very, very, very weird, weird couple of months, years. And to tell you the truth, I'm losing myself. And... Don't know how that's coming about. I'm seeing it every day. And I just... I don't know. Um, It's hard. There's not too much that I can really go on about. And rant about. Because you guys aren't therapists. Like, I'm not here on YouTube. To act like this is therapy. But... It does really get to a point sometimes where it's just like I feel like I have nowhere to go and this is the only thing that I have and even at that I'm losing it I've lost Twitter completely um anything that I had to do with logic or anything like that I feel like that's just been stripped away um because I mentioned it before on a video one time that I never really spoke about the logic side of things. But my Twitter was very, very, very heavily based around that fella over there. Because of his music and what he's got me through in the past 10 years. And even at that, I just, I, because I'm losing myself, I'm losing the will to care about other, other things. So, in that sense, I just, I couldn't occur, I haven't cared about Twitter in the past couple of months, like, I've been on it every day, but, you know, I haven't been really, like, trying to make tweets, or do anything majorly, like, I announced the other day that I was a social media manager for Call of Duty Ireland, but, even at that, I don't know how I am, it's another thing that I've added to my plate as a distraction, but, at the same time, it feels like there's more on my plate because of that. Because I'm trying. And I just want to be able to figure out my mental health before I do anything. And I've started that, which is one reason why I wanted to make this video. After, on Monday there, I started counselling. And it's... It's crazy how... Uh, came to the realization earlier on that I was waiting over six months on counseling and now I'm just getting the six week sessions six weeks of sessions that's it once every Monday and I was waiting over six months for that and I've told the doctor unspeakable things I've told a lot of like mental health assessment people the GP the doctors phoned ambulances on myself and even talked to doctors that were at the hospital to say what the hell's going on with myself and here I'm just every day it just feels like I'm back at square one and it it's really hard and I'm not gonna lie like it is because I'm trying my best to just keep myself afloat but I don't want to be afloat anymore. That's the problem. And I'm losing every single bit of will and care that I had. And I felt like I've had for the past 20 odd years of my life. Now it's just, it's gone. Like, they always say that whenever you're a nice guy, you'll always be a nice guy. And I truly believe that because I am nice at my heart. But, like, I just... Like, I walk the street, I have to because my 
beard is doing my head in, and it's, yeah, I'm all ignored for now, but fuck it. It's one of them things where I get really angry very, very easily, and I'm very angry at people, and I don't want to be very angry at people. But at the same time, I can't let it pass because I feel like People have done so much shit to me over the years that now I am dealing with it in sort of like a trauma way. Stemming from the relationships I had growing up, the friendships that I've had, the, the way people have actually treated me in those friendships. And I, I genuinely think that's the root of everything. Is that just so many people have came and gone. And I don't know how to deal with it. Because I'm just a people guy. That's me at the end of the day. I love people. As much as I don't want to love people at the minute. And the way I'm feeling. Like I hate everybody. I, I would absolutely love this, love to smack the face of someone. Straight up. And I have done that. In the past year. But we'll not talk about that. It's just that feeling every single day. And I'm forcing myself every single day to just keep a smile. Because that's all people ever tell you to do is just keep smiling. You have to keep pushing forward. You have to be nice to people. You have to do this. You have to do that. I just feel like people walk over me all the time. And don't see the actual fucking... Real shit that's going on. But that's just my maturity levels of thinking. And maybe now it's coming to a time where my morals are different in life. And the way I think about life's different. So it's going to affect the relationships that I have with people because of my own beliefs. But I have them for a reason. Because I've been through shit that I don't want to be through. And don't want to put myself through again. Because I know it will happen no matter what. And it's just shit. It's a repeated cycle of the same thing happening over and over and over and over again. Constantly. The reason that I wanted to make this video was because Jack Septiguy had made a video very recently talking about mental health. And then at the end announced this whole Christmas thing, which I thought was like, so you start speaking about mental health to announce a Christmas thing, okay, um, no disrespect to Jack, but, you know, it's like, come on, you were speaking this whole video, and now the whole tone, the whole happy tone of the video is because you're trying to promote your own thing, like, I get what he's promoting is good, but it's the whole message of it, like, don't do that, I'm not gonna sit here, run to you guys, for 8 minutes and 23 seconds about my mental health and then tell you guys to be happy and be cheerful and use code CARNATE for 10% off and game on juice because that's not it. That's just not me. No. I'm I'm just opening it up now because Jack had made that video and obviously the whole fucking video was him talking about mental health and it was just like he gets it. He does. It's not wrong, it's, 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 it's not wrong, yeah, it's not wrong to want help, it's not wrong to want to speak to a therapist or even though it's unhealthy, it's, it's, it's okay to lock yourself away from people because in my own belief, people just treat you like shit, <laughs> that, that is it, like, it's just the most simplest things people forget. And then they would be mad at you, or they would go and slobber behind your back, or talk about it. Because you didn't do it for them, but then they don't do it for you, and it's just... At least that's the way I believe it. I always used to thought, or think I hate a confrontation. And it's not necessarily that I don't like confrontation, it's... Because I'm always scared of they're not going to actually see what I'm seeing and understand it. Which is going to cause a big rift. 
And I know majority of people will just not get it because people don't like to drop their ego. People don't like to drop their pride, but they will be running about the whole streets. Relaying that message essentially, just be like, oh, you don't drop your ego, you're a fucking cunt, you're this, not and the other, and, but yet, you're one as well. Do you not realise how much of a fucking cunt you're being? And that goes for everybody in the world, I'm pretty sure everybody deals with that, but my main thing at the minute, I think that's fucking me up, is just how I've been treated in the past, and now it's affecting my relationships with people, and I don't know how to deal with it. I really, really don't. And... It's just a thought that popped in my head. I probably will show this video to my therapist, so... If I'm sitting in my therapist's room right now, hello, um, I'm breaking the fourth wall here. <sighs> I don't know. I just literally feel like I have no motivation for anything anymore. Like I don't want to go on Facebook and start liking people's posts. I don't care. The minute that the fear, I don't care. Like I don't give a fuck. About what's going on in anybody else's life at the minute. And as, as much as of a dickhead I'm going to sound like saying that. I really, really have bigger issues to be worrying about here. I am fighting. And I don't mean this to put this on the sad tone at this point. I'm not looking for sympathy here. But I'm genuinely fighting every single day. A battle inside my head. Both physically and mentally. With trying to stay alive. And wondering, what the fuck do I do? What am I holding out for? And it's that's the that's the biggest thing that I'm worrying about. I'm juggling my own life right now, and if I hear one more fucking stupid thing, which I haven't really because I moved job, and it's been so much easier because I'm not listening to people talk about their life. Without me asking. Like I don't ask. I am sitting there looking miserable on the till. And they are yapping and yapping and yapping in my ear. About what happened last week when they were in Portugal. And how much of a fucking ball ache it was to get to the airport. But when they got to the hotel it was great. And the, the sun was amazing. Like I, I could, so many examples I could give but. Even putting myself back in that position right now, I don't I don't ever want to go back to that. I'm in a position right now where I can sit someone down and I take control of the conversation because I'm trying to sell them something. Not in the sense where I'm trying to sell them something, but that that is what it is at the end of the day. It's me selling a product to someone and I have control of what I'm saying instead of me having no control and just having two sentences to go by. Hi, do you need a bag? And you pay in cash your card. That is it. That was the only thing that I was experiencing at my old job. Plus with shitty staff. Again, relationships with people are fucked up because of one workplace. Uh, uh, even doing this type of stuff, like this video right now, there's so much that I could get into. And the reason why I just sighed there was because... About four different things came into my head that I want to talk about right now. Which are going to take at least ten minutes to talk about. And I don't want to. Because one, I don't like opening up. And I don't know how I've talked again for 14 minutes about what's going on with me. And I don't even know how I'm uploading this to YouTube. <laughs> to be honest. But that is pretty much everything that I can say at the minute. I keep coming back to this because in every YouTube video that I've made in the past couple of months, I have reiterated the messages that I've reiterated the message that I feel like this is all I have left. And it is because it's the only thing that is genuinely keeping me alive, which is that I want to be my own content creator. I want to get to a point where I'm healthy again mentally so I can bring back the ideas that I had when I was growing up and actually just do them because of the passion 
that I have, and I know I have the passion to do it, and I should just be able to just get my phone, start recording, or jump on the computer, start recording, and doing things that I, I want to do, but because I have very severe mental health problems, it stops me from sitting here, sitting down on a game, even sitting here speaking like this, or sitting on Discord with multiple people. My attention span is with them for about 10 minutes, and then I'm everywhere. My ADHD sending me in places. Uh, I'm tired. That is, that is the message. I am tired. And I'm sorry for coming back and going and coming back and going because that is all this YouTube channel has been the past 10 years. I make videos for a couple of months, disappear, make a video titled I'm back, never come back, come back again, make another video called I'm back, don't come back for a while. And I don't want to go on anymore. That's going to do me. Thank you guys for watching if you did watch this long. Thank you for sticking around. And thank you for keeping me insane. Keeping me sane. Sorry, not insane. But sane. Ah. <sighs> Only thing I can say really is if you have watched this whole thing, I genuinely appreciate you. I just don't know what to do anymore. I have no belief. I have no faith. I have no nothing. Nothing that anybody can say to me without, without it being rude. There's not anything that anybody can say to me that I haven't heard before. Or solutions that I haven't heard before or haven't tried I just I don't know <coughs> I have a chest infection as well which is great <laughs> that's making me go so like my throat's telling me to shut up thank you very much for watching if you did I very much appreciate it while I sit out of focus this is unbelievable. I hate this. This is exactly why I don't do this stuff. Because every time I go to record something, shit like this happens. Like, my PC breaks or my camera goes out of focus. Or OBS isn't working. Something like that. Anyway, I gotta go. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you all later. Peace.